I kind of hoped it'd wind down by now. I certainly hope it does for your sake. Oh, well, listen, don't get me wrong. Some of it's pretty good. Do I detect that maybe you uh, want to be something other than Buzz Aldrin astronaut? Would you be here if I weren't? Would you? No. Well, well you're pretty smart, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you're pretty nice, too. Well, I'm very nice for you. You make me feel very comfortable. You're very Thank down you. to earth. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I couldn't resist. Magnificent desolation. I that's lonely. That's really lonely. Was it that lonely for you? No. No, that was the best. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm glad for you, girl. Call me Buzz. Friends call me Buzz. Everybody calls me Buzz. Well, that's an old American boy. Better believe it, pretty lady. <laughs> hey, you guys worried about the grandstand play all Yeah. Putting a man on a booster rocket is more than just grandstand. Yeah. The booster is still basically a mechanical function. And my argument is, why risk a man's life for something a machine can do just as well? Uh, there, are, there are other reasons for having the thing yeah, there are other piloted. Reasons. Sure, a lot of reasons. All publicity reasons. Public relations, huh? Generating public support, convincing Congress we're not wasting their money. But I still say there's not one honest to God scientific reason for putting a man in the thing. I'm not the scientist on the committee. I'm just a humble liaison man. Cool and impartial. When's that meeting? Thursday. Would you do me a favor? Sure. I may not be back from the trip in time. If I'm not, I've got some notes that are very important. Would you read it to the committee? It's important. Glad to. Mike, you've been telling me I'm your sister. Come on, Mike. Come yeah, on. come on. Yeah, we might as well tell us why he was getting those headaches. Oh, that's his business. You give me a headache. What's this? It's from Al Davis. I asked for it, remember? A picture of my booster rocket. Oh, wow. Too much. Daddy, if Mike is all right, how can we and Mom still go see a psychologist every week? Because you kids keep asking questions we can't answer. I'm serious. So am I serious. I'm going to hang this up. When will you get the money? You said the whole thing was set. Isn't it all set? Well, it's uh, it's set in principle. Yeah. You said it was all set. I'll tell the committee you want them to get cracking. You have your appointment, Doctor Chadwick. Chadwick? Oh no, not today. I'll call him and cancel it. Tell him the truth. What? That I hate to see him. Tell him that. You want to? She said, I don't understand it. We went to a psychologist. It was supposed to be good for Mike, right? That was the point. Well, why do I have to keep going all the time? It wasn't just for Mike, and you know it. He wants to talk about us, and you don't like that. But you don't want to see him. Tell him. But don't keep pretending it's something that you're doing be just because of Mike. I'll be back. Where are you going? You have to be in New York on Friday anyway. Right. So we route you through Chicago. In Chicago. I know. But you call Collins, have him do it. We tried him this morning. And? He was in Tacoma, heading for Kansas City. Well, keep him headed east. You said it was just another day, right? You have Wednesday open. I check with Shirley. Look, the budget hearings come up in two weeks. And our favorite senator wants to talk to one of them. What about the distinctions you were going to make? What about our priorities? I mean, I'm 
losing touch with this shuttle program and everything is important to me. These things are no. important. And people now, all they have to do is pick up a telephone and some moon man comes over and salutes and takes a bow or something. What about our priorities? We still have this problem to work out. The senator is a swing vote, and we've got to have somebody there. What time's our flight? I don't know. What time's our damn flight? Al Davis, okay? You got another trip. Today? It's Mr. Michaels. Your flight leaves at 410. Somebody named Thompson will pick you up. Thank you. Okay. When are things going to get back to normal around here? Never. They'll never let us live the way we used to. Be surprised. That's a secret they never tell you when you go up. Then refuse. Just tell them no. Washington says go. We go. I know. I know all about that. Thanks a lot. You know what I mean. I, I'm just trying to... Yeah, I guess I better take a shower. Can't you take a nap? You... You look so tired. checklist before opening the hatch. Walking on the moon would be relatively easy compared to this. Hey, Buzz. Hey, Al. 
Al Davis. My gosh, I go away from you for three days and you get out of training. They're going to gig you for that. You know that? What's up? Uh, Buzz. I got some bad news. Bad, bad, or just bad? They've cut the appropriation for the space shuttle. As of today, the whole project is on an indefinite hold. The whole thing? Well, that's not what they're calling it, but for the time being, yes. That's on the back burner. Why? Public apathy. No charisma. The public loves the Apollo missions because it involves the astronauts and uh, the whole personality thing. And NASA needs the public support, so that's where they put their money. Right. I got nothing else to work on. How can they do this? They've done it to all of us. It happens. You've seen it before. This was good. It still is. I'm sorry. We'll get it going again. Yeah. Colonel Aldrin is on 